What is up guys? So, today we find ourselves on Royal Raceway, um, which is that different. It is a, re a recreation of a Mario Kart track, the Mario Kart track, uh, Royal Raceway. So, a little bit different, a little bit different, but it's, it's pretty cool. And straight away, the, how much colour is in this track, in VR, it's kind of hurts your eyes a little bit, but you got to admit, it looks incredibly out of place in such a, okay, I'm going to quote, you know, quotations, such a serious simulator. Um, I've taken a little quick spin around this track once or twice before I jumped on, and it is, it is something else. It flows really, really well. I should probably turn my turbo up a little bit there. Um, it flows really, really well, and as soon as you come around this corner, there's a little bit of a surprise. Now, in Mario Kart, when you hit this, it is totally fine, but you hit this at a hell of, you hit this at cer some certain speeds, and you will just catch so much air, and you'll go straight through, the, straight through the map, which is not really wonderful, especially when you're in VR. Um, as you, when you start falling through the map in VR, it, it, it really makes you feel pretty horrific. But as you can see, it, it flows really, really well at certain parts. But nah, I don't know if you can really tell from the video. Um, the camber is absolutely everywhere in this track. It is just can it, it can fling you off. You'll probably see in this next corner here. It's sort of it, it cambers up in both sides, so you can get very easily flung into a wall. Um, Yeah, it's not an overly big track. It's quite wide. Um, you can get some some reasonably quick, um, reasonably quick, quick drifts around certain corners. Um, but overall, it's what a fun track. Uh, you'll probably see what I mean in a second. Oh, we bounced. Jesus. Uh, God, that has a collider on it. Jesus Christ. Shit, we're still there. This is the kind of track that you would expect to see Easter eggs on. Let's take a wee, let's take a wee run, see if we can't find it. We go. God, I hope I don't fall through the map again. Nothing really through here. It's all bit empty. Now that would have been fun if we could just start bouncing these about tracks, that would be hella fun. Oh, tight, 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 tight. Okay, so, it's a bit of a shame. There's no uh, crazy easter eggs. I'm sure there's more than one of these uh, Mario Kart tracks as well, I'll need to test a couple more out. We'll give this a proper go. And we'll show you what I mean by how, uh, it, if you take it right um, and don't get screwed up with a camber, that um, you really can get a, a pretty reasonably good line around this track. One thing I did see a guy doing quite recently, uh, you really need to slow down for this because very easily can go through that map. But one thing I did see um, in a, on YouTube earlier was some guys sort of almost sort of like 360 and off that jump. Um, and by the end of this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and 360 off that and transition straight into that left hander. Oh no! Shit! Ah, oh, we held it, we held it. And into this bad camber. Oh no. Maybe I'm just using this as like an excuse for my bad day. Eh? 
Not bad driving. Oh. It really amazes me how well this flows for a recreation of a Mario truck car. Uh, sorry, a Mario truck, a Mario Kart track. Um, get some mad tandems on this uh, on this map. Let's see if we can get a little 360 out of this. Oh shit! No, nope, through the map. God damn it! I'm gonna get that 360 by the end of this video. Take a wide line. Oh, and I'm off. You see what I mean? I don't know if you can maybe see it here, but the camber of these corners are really strange. I suppose keeping it, um, keeping it as Mario Kart as possible. Truck that I'm off again. But yeah, it, it definitely feels like a track that you could have a little bit of fun with your friends on. Um, a couple of little crazy tandems, but there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of speed changes. I mean, you could do the entire thing in third or fourth gear. Um, you could easily do the entire thing in third or fourth gear, but to sort of get a reasonable line through, you're, you're going to be changing into both every so often, and in some occasions second, especially the second part of the track, that I'll be honest, I've not, I've not driven an awful lot in this video because I keep on ruining it after this jump, I'm probably going to do the exact same thing, go through the map, fucking hell. Breaking in there, get a better angle, a bit more angle. Just getting a transition like this. Oh, that's better. And a fourth. Oh no! God, that is difficult. I've said this in this video, but I'm really surprised at how well it flows. It's just a bit, it's a bit of a shame that you can't really take this jump at any crazy speed. That was, that was, that was a pathetic attempt at an entry. Oh, we finally get to the second section. But I've not spent an awful lot of time on it. This, this flows, this flows great. But yeah, overall this track is, uh, it surprised me, I, I honestly didn't have, uh, I thought it was just going to be, again, one of those stupid maps that, you know, just would feel, yeah, it'd be okay, it would be an okay track for, for everything, for karting, for racing, for drifting, it's going to be one of those typical all-rounders that was okay at everything. But I'll be honest, I'm really surprised. Um, it, it fits really, really well into the sort of drift category. <laughs> you know, what would be really cool in a track like this if, is if that would be actually animated. You know, I don't know how on earth you do that, but that would be that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let's actually try and do this thing. screwed it in the first corner already. Ah, no spot. My god. Get some flow. God damn. It's 
see if we can get a wee 360. Oh, check that. God damn it. Oh, I was so close. I bet I did not expect to actually land that. Oh. But we made it to the other side and we didn't fall through the map. So that, that's, that's, that's successful. That, that's uh, progress in my book. Crack of this 360 again. Let's see. The thing is, is you can't have too much speed up here. You want to just be gradually climbing. Oh, I keep on catching traction at the wrong bloody points. Or at least that's my excuse. So yeah, overall, quite happy with it. It's, it's a fun little track. Um, it, it, it looks fantastic. If you're using VR, maybe turn the brightness down because it, it really does sort of give you a bit of a set head. But, quite surprised. Maybe it was designed to be a bit more of a, a drift track. I say designed. I'm sure it was Nintendo that designed it, but um, it, it does. It flows really, really well. And, it's kind of made me want to download a couple of these other Mario uh, Mario Kart tracks because they do look utterly fantastic for this sort of... Check that out, that was some pro driving right there. I'm gonna get that up in the replay. I hope that looked good. It felt fantastic. But yeah, so um, that'll be all for the video. Um, the link for the track will be in the description. Um, give it a go yourself. Hopefully you can drift it a little bit better than me, but it's fantastic. Feels great, looks great. Um, it, it flows really well. It, it is certainly better than I expected. But chuck a couple of replays in for you just now.